Hello everyone and welcome to Ghost Slayer's Report. I'm with you as always, Ryan. We're here again in the uh, central Tokyo government area. Another anti-nuclear rally again here this Friday in Tokyo, Japan. This is a slightly different area that I'm in right now. As the weeks progress, the, the protest spreads in the different areas. And you'll see different, it show up in different spots. And the, the usual spots as always, but now you have it in different areas. So I thought we'd come over here and take a little bit of a look at some of the people. And what's going on here is it just got underway a few minutes ago. You have drummers, you have people and being very expressive here. Another cross section of people as always. And an activist is giving a speech at the moment here. Okay, so. So take in the sights and sounds. We'll explore and see what's going on this evening, okay? So we have a lot of drummers here. When I first arrived, they were drumming, but they stopped pretty quickly. They've probably been at it for a while, so. No drumming when they're giving speeches. Let's take a look over here. You can see lots of things going on. Big banner there. Right. Okay. All right, why, thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, she just gave us something there. There's a website. Please check it out. Okay, she gave me some gestures like this is, that was concerning the speech given given at the moment. So let's go over and get a bit closer to this guy talking. Okay, so that was a very inspiring speech. By the gentleman. Okay, I'm gonna try and move over to the other parts of the protest, alright? We see what's going on this evening, alright? As you can see a large crowd here at this particular spot. Like I said, there's they're all over usually at this point. Explore the other areas, okay? Okay, everyone, we are approaching the uh, Akiba Tokyo base camp. And as you can see, we got some action here, okay? So we'll take a look and see what these fellows are doing, right? Stand in solidarity with the anti nuclear movement here in Japan. Uh, there's a gentleman. Hello, sir. Hello. There you go, right? So we have a foreign contingency here a little bit this evening. All right, so is he there? Not just a Japanese fight, but it's a so-called gaijin also fight for this nation. And he's a guy. Beautiful thing, okay? Now, this is what we call 
freedom of speech. This is what we call standing up for your country. Thank you very much. That's right. There you go, right? All right. All right. Speak, speak, speak. Yeah, I've been here so many times, some of them actually uh, kind of see me around a lot and I'm familiar to them, so they will say hello to me a bit. Now, this gentleman, he's speaking to METI, all right? That is the METI building. They are responsible for nuclear power in Japan. As you can see, that's a rather tall building. It goes all the way up the top there, okay? You guys have seen me show METI before. Now, that's who he's speaking to, addressing directly, is METI, all right? The cabinet minister of METI is Yukio Idano. So he's also addressing that, per that man directly as well. So, there's still plenty of bureaucrats in that building right now, so they hear this, okay? The government of Japan has been very silent on acknowledging these protesters, but recently, and I'll probably do another video on that, Prime Minister Noda actually had a meeting with these uh, protester organizers, and I'll be doing a report on that later. So it's proof they, the politicians in Japan know what's going on, okay? They know about this popular uprising, and they know that people don't want nuclear power in this country. Okay, so, see, it's everybody, okay? Young, old, handicapped, foreign, domestic, it doesn't matter. This is a um, global movement happening here in Tokyo, which is rather rare. And there's a friend, by the way. There's a police, Metro. We know about how those cats, right? So, yeah, you'll see all kinds of people here every week I go. I see the crowd and the people here becoming more and more diverse week after week. And it's a truly amazing thing to see. When you see the natives along with the, the foreigners together, it truly is inspiring, okay? So, okay, we're at base camp right now, okay? This is Occupy Tokyo base camp. You see many people here sitting in solidarity with the movement. As always, we have a table, information stand there. We'll go over a little bit and take a look. Hi. Hello. Uh, show your sign, it's okay. Ah, uh, kawaii, ne? Hi. No nukes. See, even the children, even children say no nukes, right? Give me a high five. Ah, there we go. Okay, here we go, right? All right, very nice, okay? Arigatou gozaimasu. Oish! Gambate! Gambate, Nihon! Hey, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Even children, okay? Hey, arigatou. Okay, even children, okay? You have Japanese children in the street protesting. That is beautiful. Beautiful! Hey, you see now here's some uh, people having a stand. Information stand, things like that. Okay, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, I'll show you a sign, okay? Let's see. Let's see. There we go, yeah, there we go, see? That's her sign, okay? Right. Uh, um, international, okay? Uh, video, okay? So, um, um, Nihongo, daijoubu, please. All right, you're very sweet. Uh, thank you, okay, thank you. Yes, very good, okay? Young, old, children, it don't matter, okay?
Everyone's out here. Okay, towards the Prime Minister's office, all right? So, there we go. Oi! Oi! Hey, here we go, right? Okay, yeah, you see? Oi! Hey, hey, give me one more. Bye! There we go, right? Aye, aye, okay, so that's the kid again, right? All right. That blows me away, I have to be honest with you. Every time I see the children out here protesting, okay, these are kids who are aware. Okay, I've never seen that in my own place I was born in the United States. I've never seen that before. Now, I've been to several protests in the United States in my, in my early 20s and mid-20s and even late 20s. And I never saw kids at a protest. But it's Japan. It's everybody, literally. That, that proves it, okay? All right, so here we are. At the um, the uh, block point, okay. Same thing I saw last week, okay. Exact same thing I saw last week. They block people off, right? You don't give people proper access. They protest freely. Uh -oh, okay, oh, oh, we just got through. All right, excellent. Okay, so we just got allowed to get through, okay? I hit it at the right time, okay? So, I know. They can't stop us. All right, so we're going through. There's our friends, the police. And we, are, we just busted. They just gave up. They just, the police just gave up and let us go through, okay? We're still um, live streaming at the same time I'm recording, okay? Well, as you can see, lots of people, if you can see back there, just flooded through. Right? Lots of people just flooded through there. All right, so, yeah, we just, I walked up on this, it was blocked, just like last week. As soon as I get up here, it's unblocked. Now, there you can see, that's those uh, vicious blockades they'll use to block off the street in case too many people, and they can't handle it. They're determined to keep people off that street, all right? And which is exactly what the protesters want to do, is get on the street, you see. All right. So, yeah, anti-nuclear movement in Japan, live and well, okay? We're here live with the Ghost Slayers Report. I'm managing two different things at the moment, okay? So, recording video, as well as live streaming this week, something new, okay? Uh, Tweetcast, all right? A nice little app I found for the iPhone. It's a very interesting little application. Um, just kind of trying it out this week. I'll put a link later to the live stream channel so you can go to it yourself and check it out. All the footage we're getting live as well as what we're recording here. Okay, so, because I got, I'm able to get two different angles here, right? This is nice, okay? There's your buses. All right. Way over there. White shirts, okay? I'll zoom in on that, okay? See those guys there, right? Yeah. Okay. You see there? All those watching the, the tweet cast, a few of you are. You can see that. Alright, so we made it a bit closer here. And yeah. 
was more people here last week than there was this week, I mean, but than there was last week. Again, you have a lot of people here. Different backgrounds, things like that. No nukes. There. Show you what we have behind us here, what we just passed. down pretty quick today so that shows me there is a uh, more people here these people are determined all right there's no doubt about that they mean business We're after a very long wait, we're actually able to get through again. Another uh, barricade has been going down, and we're moving forward, okay? We'll show you what happens at, a, at a, one of these, um, one of the stations here, one of the exits, right? So they, massive amount of police here, trying to keep you from access, right? Very crowded at the moment, okay? Very, very crowded. A little bit of chaos, but we're getting through, okay? All right, we've got through, okay, finally. So here we go. The people are very enthusiastic. I'm going to take my chances. This guy is, I'm going to try it too. take my chances with this. Again, you can see all the people here, okay? But I'm moving forward a bit. All the signs, all the banners, everything you can see. As I move right past everyone here, Nuclear umbrella. Okay, that sends a message, definitely. You can see all of this happening now. All the police, all the people. The determination of these people is absolutely amazing to see. You know, it just uh, it's very inspiring. Okay, I'll try to jump back in. We're right, right up more. Got some more center of things here. You can see. All right. As you just saw, there's a lot of people here.
I'm moving through this a little bit. I want to get you right up here just for a couple of minutes. I'm about finished filming for the day. And show all these people here. Now, don't ever think they're not fighting. They truly are, everything they got, but they need help. They, they can't do this alone. Beautiful, beautiful people here. Just one more shot. That goes on forever, pretty much. Alright, so, as always, this is me, Ryan, here at the Ghost Slayers Report. This week, uh, another anti nuclear protest here in Tokyo, Japan. Check it out. Okay, everyone, so. We're right back at Occupy Tokyo Base Camp right after the protest here and you see there's a lot of people here. Got a big animal float thing there with a message on it, right? So just a little bonus, we'll show you what happens here after this. A lot of people will gather here, spread messages, images, things like that. We have a banner there. Okay. So giving away free water to anyone who needs it. People converging around. Meet and greet. A lot of people taking in water. That's always given is free during the summer here so far. So we'll just mingle around a crowd. I'll show you kind of all of this going on. Okay, there's the... Okay, I'll show you that. They give away water. As you can see. Yeah. Okay. We'll take you just a little bit over here. What day is it today? Occupy Tokyo Base Camp, day number 349 of them being stationed out front of Meti Building. Okay, so, so we'll walk around here a bit. All right, you see people mingling around. You still hear the action happening post protest. Again, these people are being very, very hard about this. They're having to hang tough of all the things the police do to crowd them in. Don't let them protest freely. And it's amazing how they show up every week. You know? Okay, man's giving a speech here. We'll take a look. We saw him earlier. Tell us a little bit what happens after here, after the protest, okay? So, we'll go ahead and wrap up again. This is a little bonus footage for you. I see all the people here again. Stand out. All right, so again, why if the ghost letters report, okay? Horror Tokyo anti-nuclear protest today. All right, we're checking out.